Why did Liz Truss resign as Prime Minister, and what happens next? The UK's leader quit less than two months after being elected as leader of the Conservative Party and being asked to form a government by the Queen. It wasn't an easy ride for Liz Truss. Her plan of mass tax cuts caused a loss of confidence in the UK economy. It meant interest rates went up, mortgages cost more, and the Bank of England had to step in to calm the markets. It led to Truss sacking her Chancellor Kwasi Kwarteng, the person responsible for running the economy. His replacement, Jeremy Hunt, ditched most of her tax cuts. Meanwhile, opinion polls showed that Truss was becoming unpopular with the British public, and that if a general election were called, she would probably lose to the opposition Labour Party. Lots of Conservative MPs publicly said they didn't support her. After 45 days in the job, she announced her resignation, saying she couldn't fulfil her policy promises. She said there'll be a leadership election within the week, and she'll stay as PM until a new leader is found. 